Did you ever wonder what the difference is between working out with dumbbells or barbells? Well, stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Instagram and join our community. It's Lasso here, co-founder and head trainer of Delta Fitness, based in Canary Wharf, here in London. In today's video, I'm going to talk through the differences between working out with dumbbells and barbells, as they're both very effective, but in very different ways. As most of you are aware, this is a dumbbell. Uh, you find them a lot of the times on the gym floor, and probably you tripped over it because people can't be bothered to put them back. Doesn't happen here at Delta. Uh, these ones can go anything from one kilo to 60 kilos. And on my right side is a barbell. And these ones go anything from 10 kilos, 15 or 20. Or a lot of the times, if you're using a Smith machine, those ones are 10 kilos. Now I'm going to illustrate the difference of working the chest with the dumbbells and the barbells. What the differences are. So, normally you would do this with two dumbbells. But I'm just going to demonstrate that with the dumbbell, you have a little bit less stability because you got just one dumbbell in one hand each. You got more mobility, which means you can move the dumbbell around with the shoulder a bit more. And more importantly in this exercise, you can do an abduction, so bring the chest in line with the dumbbell, so bring it all the way across, and you can actually put more tension on the muscle and fully shorten it on this specific movement. Also using the dumbbell, it's a bit more safer when you finish to just drop it and come up and you don't need a spot with that when you're training by yourself unless you're lifting too heavy just a quick reminder guys you've got to do this with two dumbbells ideally and if you're new to the dumbbell press or just in the gym try and get a trainer to teach you the right techniques because a lot of people will be wasting a lot of time with the bad technique and not getting the results that they're looking for now i'm going to demonstrate the same exercise but with the barbell which is obviously a bench press <sighs> So from here, I'm going to take the barbell out. As you can see, you got much more stability because it's a closed chain movement. Your arms are in the same plane of motion and they can move individually, which means you can lift much heavier as opposed to the dumbbells. The bench press is a very good exercise to increase your strength very fast and to increase muscle mass in the chest. However, if you are lifting heavy, make sure you always have a spot there to be safe. So I've just demonstrated the push exercise, which is great for developing pecs. Now I'm going to demonstrate a pull movement, which is going to be the bent over rows, and the difference between performing it with dumbbells and barbell. As you can see, with the dumbbells, I've got more range of motion, which means I can lower the dumbbells a bit further down, and on the way up, I can bring my elbows closer to the body and squeeze my shoulder blades together slightly more than I would be able to do with the barbell. With the barbell, I have ever so slightly more stability and I can go much heavier than I would be able to do so with the dumbbells. Barbell rows are a very effective way to build a very strong back and a strong core. We have covered push and pull on the upper body and now we're going to move on to legs. I'm going to demonstrate squats with a dumbbell and a barbell squat. The benefits of doing the squats with the barbell is that you can go much heavier, you can definitely do better progressive overload, you get a bit more stability and you will be working a lot of stabilizing muscles. Dumbbell squats is a very good way to learn the exercise correctly. Also more of us have access to dumbbells as opposed to a barbell. However, the only negative part of this is that progressive overload is much harder in the long term. Thank you for watching guys. These are some of the differences between training with dumbbells and barbells. There is no right or wrong. Both of them are very good in different ways. If you have any questions, comment below. We'll get back to you. In the meantime, hit the subscribe button, follow us, and see you guys soon.